So guys, welcome back to another video. This time we have the brand new Footmas Andy Carroll card. Now this card is actually free to obtain and any of you can get hold of it. All you've got to do is score three headed goals in online single matches. So um, with that in mind, as you can imagine right now, online single matches are full of people just spamming cross constantly hoping to get a headed goal. Anyway, before we continue, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. Comment below if you've used this card and how it was for you. And if you've got any questions about this card, put them in the comments too, and I'll do my best to answer them. Anyway, let's get on to the comparison page. So, here we are, non-informed versus footmus. Carol received a much-needed pace upgrade, and I can tell already that his pace, still, despite the upgrade, will be quite off-putting to some. The dribbling has been boosted by 5, which is alright, and the shooting has been put up by 6, which brings him up to 84 shooting which to be fair is pretty awesome especially for a card that was free his physical stats got upgraded a little bit too bringing his overall physical rating to a huge 88 moving on into the in-game attributes and we can see a few standouts 99 heading 96 strength and 86 jumping let's just remember Andy Carroll is six foot four and he's got 86 jumping he should be winning literally every aerial challenge this card's got 82 finishing and a whopping 91 shot power and to go along with both of those shooting stats he also has 83 composure there are of course other stats worth mentioning that you know stand out for the wrong reasons like that 66 agility and the 52 balance anyway let's head into the in-game clips and let's talk about his performances now as a whole now this is going to shock some of you because you know i'm a massive pace haul but I actually like this card, I actually really did because I thought he was very clinical and I feel if you use this guy in the right way he can be a very useful player to have in your team. Now we know he's lacking in pace, that's no secret and when he does break away you are best off you know just stopping, trying to shield the ball and hold up play. Thankfully what this card lacks in pace he gets made up for in strength and he can hold off most defenders however his balance isn't great so although for the most part he seems strong on the ball there are going to be occasions where he's just going to get taken out and he's going to end up on his ass. So his pace obviously isn't ideal but how is his dribbling? Well that's not too great either. His agility can really really let him down and sometimes he seemingly struggles to get the ball out of his feet which is a bit of a shame because as you'll see in the clips in the background when he does get the ball out of his feet and when he does create a bit of space for himself he can score some great goals and like I said you can see that happening right now in the background. And that brings us on nicely to his shooting and to be honest that was great as long as you're shooting with his left foot you're going to score goals because his shot power is awesome and from distance he can just crack them in like absolute rockets and if you're going to shoot with this card as you can imagine I'm going to say not to avoid the finesse but definitely favour the power shot because you know that 91 shot power you've got to put it to use it's incredibly effective in this year's FIFA. And shooting isn't the only way you're going to score with this man. He stands at 6 foot 4, he's got 99 heading, he's a monster in the air and he's ideal. He's an ideal target man for those of you who just love to cross. His passing was something that I actually found to be pretty poor. He seems to really struggle with any form of quick pass which as you can imagine is a bit of a shame. His positioning isn't too bad but as you can imagine he does lack the pace to keep up with the speed of the game at times and his work rates can affect him. If you didn't know, Carroll's actually got medium high work rates. Now that doesn't mean that he's going to sit and defend like a CDM but what it does mean is it affects how much he goes forward so you will find that he might not go forward as much as you would actually like him to. Anyway let's head into the summary and let's address the card. So considering it's free you know it's a bargain all you gotta do is play the game score some headers and boom you get a special card in your club for pretty much doing nothing but is it a card that you'd use in something like foot champs? Um, no and that's pretty much because you know there are better alternatives out there like Hero Giroud and like Ibrahimovic. However it's not all negative, it's not all negative. What you get with this card is a great target man that if you get this card in the right position to score, more than likely he's going to do just that and he's going to put the ball in the back of the net. I struggled choosing an overall rating for this card because in some games he was really, really good and in others he just wasn't as effective at all. So you're either going to adapt to this card and love it or, you know, just hate it. So in the end I went with a 7.4 out of 10 which is still a positive rating but I just felt when using this card you have got to work pretty hard with other players to get the best out of this Footmas Carroll card. 
But still, he's a great finisher, and I think better players than I might get more out of him. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on this brand new Footless Andy Carroll card. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like on it. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. If you want me to review anyone else, put them in the comments below too. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.